Hey there, I'm just gonna replicate a video that my upline sponsor put on her essential oil support page. It's one of my favorites, I love it. It's with the Thieves Foaming Hand Soap and how to save money by doing it yourself and making your own soap. We now do this for every room in our house and in our office. We make our own soap with the essential oils. I, having started with essential oils with a baby and a toddler, I was really against doing anything myself. I just wanted to buy it and have it shipped from Amazon uh, because time was of the essence and my energy levels have been terrible. So after watching Melissa's video, I thought, huh, you know what? That took like less than 90 seconds. So maybe I can try it myself. So I just want to share it because it's one of my favorites and our patients in the office comment about it all the time. And it's also coming up in winter and this is a super, super moisturizing recipe. So this is the Thieves Foaming Hand Soap from Young Living. Um, we bought a three pack of this to start with because it has this awesome foaming pump and you need the pump. So if you have a, a foaming pump bottle, you can use any soap. Um, but I do recommend starting with the, the Young Living ones because the proportions are for that. So we buy this Castile soap. You can buy Dr. Bronner's. This is the Vitacost brand. It's about $6.99 for this whole bottle. And then this is a Arcacia vegetable glycerin. It's a completely natural plant derived um, moisturizer. And I think it also contributes to what makes it foam. So all we're gonna do is take three tablespoons just measured out of the Castile soap. And this soap is so versatile you can use it for pretty much anything cleaning wise like your basic soap. I like the unscented versions because remember you're going to add the thieves which has its own scent. And then now you can do in the summertime, spring, summertime, just a quarter teaspoon. But if you want extra moisture because you're going to be washing your hands and if your hands and skin gets really dry from washing, you can actually, I'm going to double the glycerin and put um, a half a teaspoon. So, but typically you really only need a quarter teaspoon. It'll get nice and foamy. Um, but since it's getting that dry cold weather in October, I'm going to double it just to get a little bit more uh, moisture into my skin. And then Melissa recommends about 15 drops of the Thieves. This is the Thieves essential oil, one of my favorites. Uh, you can do a different uh, number of different oils. We've also done peppermint and tea tree. So 10 to 15 drops is all you need in there this is the peppermint and tea tree we do this it smells really really good too and then just fill it up um, with water but you want to stop about here because the pump you want to leave room for the pump so it doesn't overflow Not much okay i tend to overflow mine i'm always looking to get the most bang for my buck so <laughs> Put that lid on. See, I did overfill it a little tiny bit. Just wipe it off. Shake it up just a few times. And you've got this awesome foaming hand soap that is going to be super moisturizing. You know what they say, 20 seconds before rinsing. Um, but you can just see how it gets into the skin. It's so moisturizing. will not dry your skin out. And that thieves is going to kill all your germs. All right. So we're going to rinse it off. And then you're done. And literally it took less than two minutes. Thanks, enjoy.